Hey guys, what's up? It's Simone. Today in this video, we're working with Eva wigs. Yo, I completely forgot that I chose a blue wig. So when I opened the box, I was in for like a huge surprise. But it was actually a very pretty color and it matches my headboard, which is... I wasn't going for that look, but <laughs> ended up being cute. So I went ahead and I styled this wig. I did this video for two days because the first day I went ahead and I put it on my head, but then the lace was just way too light for my skin color. So if you are dark skin, you are definitely gonna have to go ahead and tint your frontal because it was so light that I had to um un re unapply unapply it. <laughs> I had to take it off and redo it. The next day it was also too large for my head so i have to cut a lot of lace by the ears it is a full lace wig so this is one way for you to hold down your wig and make it tight but i went ahead and added on my own headband for more security i plucked the hell out of this wig i did more plucking than what i usually do because i'm trying to see something i love the hair on it but i just feel like to be honest this lace is not laying and the lace is way too white. So then I tried a different method. I went ahead and did the stock and cat method. And you guys know how I feel about the meth. And if you don't, you guys know I hate, 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 hate stock and cats, okay? It is just not my thing. I am not a fan of it. Ugh. But um, the lace that I have on today, I recorded this entire video about two days ago, but the lace was just not agreeing with my skin color. I just think it was too white. It was just, yeah. Do I want to do this to myself? Yeah, the only spray that I have right now is this Tresemme one, and I'm pretty sure it is not going to hold. It holds hair, but I don't think it's going to hold the stocking cap. See if this is drying it before I go further. Okay, it is slightly. And in case you guys missed what kind of hairspray I'm using, we are using the Tresemme hairspray extra hold. All right. All right, so it is kind of dryish. Oh God, please come out right because this is my own stocking cap, and I'm telling you, this comes out wrong every time after then the first three times. So. So I went ahead and I cut the excess stocking cap off. Oh gosh, guys, this process is very tedious and it took forever. So this will probably be my last, last, last time doing it. <laughs> I swear. So clearly there are still like loose pieces right here. Now, I've seen people stop right here where literally this little... <laughs> Roll up piece is still there. You don't want that to still be there. You know why? It's gonna show up the lace. Okay. Anything that looks like imperfections under like right now is going to show under your lace. So always remember that. I think a lot of people forget that, and that's kind of like very important. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim it a little bit closer. Be careful not to cut your own hair because uh, you need to have your hair, you take your wig off. Another thing with the stocking cap method that I hate is that it makes my forehead look very small when I go ahead and apply my wig and that bothers me so much because it just makes me look a little bit like smurfish. I really didn't want to use a liquid foundation because, uh, yuck. <laughs> I kind of wanted to use my powder, but my uh, my black radiance, my black radiance has been fucked up ever since. I don't know, it just broke on its own. I just want to see if it's going to work. This, come on, I was all up on my scalp, yuck. Alright, so this is kind of where I'm stopping at right now. All it does is rain in Georgia. Rain, 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 rain. But because I have my headband on and it's already tightened, I'm not gonna go ahead and gel the whole, you know what, maybe I might. So for this part, I went ahead and I sped it up because I pretty much just went ahead and got to be glued it down and it stuck. Now the issue I've been having lately is the part by the ears. So you will see it lift as I am putting my hair into a ponytail because I will go ahead and fix that part after. All right, so you probably like why am I turned around? So this is gonna kind of be like a faux, a faux way of doing a ponytail. So for some reason, the back of this ponytail is just so loose. I don't know what it is. 
I think the wig was made for a big head. I really do. I don't think it was made for a small head. So there's no point in me trying to gel this down. So a quick way of, sorry, a quick way of doing it is I'm gonna go ahead and use these bobby pins. What I'm gonna do is take a bobby pin. I'm gonna this lace right here. I'm gonna kind of poke a hole in the lace and kind of just pin it under. All right, it's like my full way of doing this. I'm gonna kind of stretch it out by pulling it and just tucking it right under so that it looks like it's glued, but it's not. And then you see the sides, you can probably see the headband still. So I'm gonna take a little piece of the lace, a little piece and poke it through, push the pin through. Might be hard at first and just poke it under. <laughs> okay sorry if it's out of focus guys I'm turned around so I can't see what's going on in the back poke a hole through the fabric all right so it kind of looks like that again ignore the sides but I'm gonna go back and reach all this down I think all the tugging on it while it's still trying to dry is um, making it not stick so and I'm gonna use my hot comb From here on out, I pretty much just did, you know, I just put my hair in a ponytail, like a regular ponytail. I did use mousse because I didn't want to use hairspray or gel. I didn't want to have that stiff look. I still wanted it to look very soft. So this is what I ended up resulting to doing, just using a lot of mousse. And honestly, that was all. I put in a ponytail and then I went ahead and I started braiding a little piece from the back and just wrapped it around. So it's so easy and self-explanatory, but to get it flat, guys, you're probably going to need a hot comb or a really good blow dryer. So, these little ears, we're gonna stick those down now. And I use the pin to just hold the end piece. And from here, it's it was history. <laughs> Stop. From here, I kind of just went ahead and finished the end. Um, the back looked really good, and it was nice and flat in the back. Um, and then I went ahead and did some baby hair just to cover the little pieces of lace lace that was showing. And that was pretty much it. Tied it down and called it a day. And here is my end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I'll let your girl know. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye.